guys. Today we're here in Ware's Valley, about five miles outside of Pigeon Forge at Paul Paul's Catfish Kitchen. Now we're here for two reasons. Number one, we heard it's a great place to eat. And number two, they are ranked number three on TripAdvisor for Sevierville. So we're pretty excited about trying this place out. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Guys, I just walked in to Paul Paul's and I have the staff in front of me. They're going to tell me a little bit about this place. All right, I'm the owner. My name's Rebecca. My husband and I are from Louisiana. Um, we wanted to bring Cajun food to the Smoky Mountains. We make our own fish fry. Everything's made in house, so we have a little bit of everything that New Orleans has. Just want to bring a little flair to the mountains. And what are your hours? Um, right now, we only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 11 to 8 doing because we don't have enough staff. All right, well, appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Catfish Kitchen here in Ware's Valley. Every item cooked to order. Lunch specials, specialty dishes, catfish, crab cakes, New Orleans favorites. We have some gumbo and beans and rice. Baskets served with two hush puppies and fries. I got the combo with some crab cakes. Right, chicken and Bobby got the oysters. There's a seafood basket. Grilled dishes, barbecue, some po' boys, shrimp, catfish, oyster, ham and cheese, and they have hamburgers here. Here are their appetizers, alligator bites, some crab cake, sample plate, some soups, there's the salads. There are your sides. Fries, coleslaw, baked beans, and potato salad. Make the coleslaw and the baked beans are made here. Desserts. Beverages, $275. And kids menu. Prices are reasonable. More seating here in the back in a Mardi Gras themed room. New Orleans Saints. A few booths, a few more tables. Mardi Gras mask up on the walls, some beads. Meal came really fast. Catfish looks amazing. Some shrimp, some fries in there. Homemade coleslaw. Bobby's like, hurry up, because I'm going to tear into these oysters. How many of those did you get, you know? 12. 12 oysters with some potato salad and their homemade baked beans. Yeah. I'm gonna try the potato salad first. Now she said they do not make this in house. This is the only one they don't. It has a good flavor. You see the potatoes are done. It goes right through that. It's, uh, I can taste the vinegar in it, mayonnaise base, some onion and pickle. So even though it's not made here, it's still decent. Yeah, it's good. It's not just decent. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. good. It's good. Okay. Homemade see baked beans. See. Yeah. see, there's got a lot of sauce in it, don't they? It's thick. It is thick. It's got a good flavor, too. It's not real tangy. I like it. Well, Bobby, I say we uh, just sit here for about five minutes and stare at these. I say no, because if you wait that long, there won't be anything to stare at. So I'm going to try a hush puppy. 
I can hear it crunching. Look at front. Let me see the insides of that. These are homemade here too. I like those. Just the right size. You got two of them. Are you ready to try the oyster? You know I'm ready. All right. Hey, oysters are one of my favorite things to eat. Now I don't like them raw. They have to have the breading on it. Looks like the breading is crunch. Oh yeah, it's loaded. With a nice yeah. size oyster. Crunchy breading it looks like. It is crunchy breading. It's good flavor. We asked for what all they put on yeah. the breading, in the breading, but secret recipe. They won't tell us, guys. What the heck? <laughs> what do you think? I love oysters. So I, I don't think I've ever had any bad oysters. And, and you're these, not going to dip them either, right? No. I like I like to taste the flavor of them. And at home, when we look at them in the stores now, they are very, very expensive. expensive. They're in season now, so I don't know if when you come here in the summer if you can get these. I'm not sure. It's a seasonal item. Well, if you're at a catfish named restaurant, you have to get the catfish. So first thing, look how big that is. It's huge. It's just breaking. You see that pretty good yeah, through the lens? Looks real nice white and oh, flaky in there. Awesome. White. Yeah, look at that. Let's see it. There we go. And it's hot. Very yeah, hot. I can see the steam when you get that. It's very hot, so I'm going to try to take a bite of this. It's moist. It's tender. Love the breading on it. Doing great. Everything's good. great. Yeah, yes, thank good. you. You're thank welcome. You. Love the crunch of the breading, but I just want to just show you again when you. Turn this open. Beautiful you, white bean in there. You got two nice big pieces. I was going to get just the catfish. You got three catfish pieces, but I love shrimp. So it was once we just two pieces of catfish and add a piece of shrimp. Yeah. Well, there it is. Crunchy. Nice flavor. I like the breading, even though we don't know what's in it. Secret. Maybe you can go out there and butter them up and I'll tell you. I don't know. <laughs> Now that's all but right. That's some, that's some good batter, breading. Definitely hot until it's just been made. Fries. Mm. Done well. Crispy. Homemade coleslaw. It's chopped thin. That's, that's, that's the way we like yeah, it. Yeah, we like it chopped thin. Good. Do you guys need anything? No, we're good. Thank anything. you. Staff answering our questions. Super Real friendly. friendly. Put us back here. Didn't know this room was here. Love the room. This is mayonnaise based. It's cold. Hadn't been sitting around at room temperature. Nice crunch. Great coleslaw, so. We're gonna start eating all this. I'm happy with this. Bobby was nice enough to share one of her oysters. Yes, I'm a nice girl, John. Definitely see the crunchy batter, like you said. Let's try it. It's a nice flavor. Mm hmm. Get with that batter and the oyster taste. That goes well. I, I like that. Now, I like catfish better. I do like oysters too. I never did like oysters, but. Bobby got me. I introduced him. I would never eat them. She made me eat them, and I can eat them fried. But that's the only way. And this is this is a good oyster. I shared a piece of catfish yeah. with you. How that? Still got steam coming out. Yeah. Of it. Like you said, it's real nice white. Oh. And you're going to try the tartar sauce. I'm going to lose it in there. It's all right. How flaky it is. It's all right. Yeah, I'm going to try the tartar sauce. I think it's homemade here too. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. I kind of taste, I think it's like a vinegar or pickle juice in there with whatever it reminds me of. And I wanted to say, look at John's yeah. coleslaw. Yeah. I like this too. A lot of times they give you a little tiny container. Yeah. That's, that's a nice size. We did find out that the tartar sauce is homemade. And it made some pickle relish. Brought me out some of their homemade Cajun sauce, and they said they use this on crab cakes and fish dip fries in it. Just know it's a mayonnaise base, it's about all I know. And it's good. It's not overly spicy. You can taste the mayonnaise in it, it's creamy. 
I can't decide which one I like better, either the tartar sauce or that, or nothing, because this catfish is good without anything. And you have like a little bit of spice after you after you eat it, but it's good. You want to try that, Bobby? You don't really like spicy no, stuff. Do I don't do spicy very well, so, but um, I'm with you. You don't even need to put anything on it because the breading and the fish itself mm -hmm. had such a good flavor. I was looking at these pictures and there's something special about them. On the back of each one, it tells you the history of that building. That's pretty neat. It's our waitress's birthday, Jessica. They brought us a piece of birthday cake. Yeah, piece of her birthday yeah, cake. Yeah, her birthday cake. They got it for her and did all that. <laughs> now this wasn't made nah, here. It's just they nice did. that they did that. Good chocolate cake, John. You'll like that. I love chocolate, so I'm looking for that was that was nice. That was very nice. Happy birthday, Jessica. Here's our bill and here's the address. You guys want to come here? Had the combo basket, catfish and shrimp for 16. Had the oysters for a grand total of 41.72. We just exited Paul Paul's Catfish Kitchen. What did you think about it, Bobby? First of all, I want to say that staff in there was super friendly. They were Some great ladies in there. It was Jessica's birthday. They brought us out a piece of cake. That was the nice. It was actually just as Jessica's cake that they brought her and they shared with us. Um, the oysters were good. I like the breading that they put on there, but they wouldn't tell us because it's their secret. Couldn't get it out of them. We tried. Okay. Couldn't get it out of them. <laughs> and uh, I got the baked beans, which were nice and thick. I like the sauce that was in there. Those were well made here. The potato salad, it had a good flavor and the potatoes were done well, but it was not made here, but I still enjoyed it. I like mine. You, and you tried the catfish. I did. It was uh, the breading was great. Uh, said you know, secret, can't find out what that is. But nice catfish, the size of them. It's flaky, mm, nice white. And white inside. Uh, the shrimp, the breading, it was a good experience. Had the fries. The fries were done well. But I want to stress again, the staff. This is a yeah. great place to come. We really enjoyed ourselves in here. And uh, John had the coleslaw. And, and, and yeah. like I showed in the video, you know, you should get that little tiny container of, of the coleslaw. It they gave us a lot. Nice size. It, it was and good. It and was the, made here too. And the sauces. Had the yes. Cajun sauce the and the tartar sauce, sauce was really creamy. creamy. Number three on TripAdvisor, guys. So you need to check this place, place out. out. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. Oh,